Hey YouTube, it's uh, Crafty Carter here. I want to talk about the uh, motorcycle power supply product I've been working on and have mentioned quite a few times. Here's a quick uh, extreme close up of it. Four layer board here, uh, capable of pushing 500 watts through the PCB. It's got 12 ounce copper on the inside layers, 2 ounce on the outside layers. Uh, this is not completely built up, but it has four of these card slots and eight of these uh, fuse holders, as well as eight of these uh, big electrolytic caps to smooth out the uh, power. And uh, what it's for is for uh, DC uh, circuit breaker applications for, let's say, motorcycles, snow machines, uh, boats, cars, RVs. Um, that kind of thing. It's uh, fully programmable so you can give it instructions like uh, when sensor A gives you value B uh, turn on channel C to 50% that kind of thing. And uh, what kind of sensors do we have? We have uh, temperature sensors built in. Uh, we have Four auxiliary inputs for external sensors, plus the cards can have sensors. There's an audio sensing card, a light sensing card. Uh, the cards are also the main outputs for power. We have this guy here, which is a low side switching card. We've got a high side switching card, which means the uh, it's the 12 volts to turn on and off. On the low side, it's the ground that uh, turns on and off. Um, we got a 5 volt card with a uh, iPhone compatible uh, plug. You need to have special uh, resistors on there in order to uh, get an iPhone to actually take a charge. And uh, what else does it do? It's got a voltmeter and an ammeter, so it'll tell you what the condition of your uh, system is, how many amps you're burning, and um, what voltage is coming out of your electrical system, which is important for an automobile or a motorcycle where you might. Uh, have a dying battery, it'll tell you. Uh, so let's take a closer look at some of the uh, more interesting things I want to share with you guys today about the project. So here we have the uh, one of the low side switching cards plugged into one, a card testing jig that I've got set up here. That's just so I can test a bunch of cards at once. And uh, each card has got two channels. Uh, one capable of outputting uh, 12 amps and the other capable of outputting uh, 6 amps and uh, this guy I'm going to push up to 15 amps so uh, 12 on one channel and 3 on another and uh, it should be pretty exciting we're going to pump out you know nearly 200 watts of power through that card which is if you can see here smaller than my thumb. It's a tiny little thing. And here are the loads. That big one is for the uh, 12 uh, amps. I'm going to pump through one channel and the small one is for uh, the 3 amps which I'm running through my precision load. Uh, so I can turn that up as high as I want but we're just going to take it to uh, 3 or 4 amps today. And below that there's a cooling fan, as you can see, because we need active cooling. So let's uh, try it out. Alright, so everything's already plugged in and set up. I'm just going to turn on some power. And uh, what we're going to see is that it doesn't burst in the flames, even though we're going to pump almost 200 watts through something the size of a postage stamp. All right, so it's a Dell power supply capable of pr producing 500 watts at 12 volts. And uh, let's turn up the load a bit. Let's get it up to 3 amps. All right, the card is now pumping up uh, 200 watts or so. And it's starting at 28 degrees. It's probably starting out more like 24 or 5, but I had been running it earlier, so it's cooled off a bit already. The load is already at 48. 
50. I'm rising. The car is up to 29 degrees. Whereas the uh, load is at 65. Now the load will go up uh, and keep going up. I've got it to 112. And the fun thing is, is that the card at 200 watts never got above 45 degrees. It's here at 30, 33, right depending on where I point it. But ultimately it just doesn't get that hot. So, well, we want the load to get hot. We have to dissipate all those watts. So, uh, in short, the darn thing works. So, uh, we should be putting this into some kind of project uh, or product here in the foreseeable future. Uh, so, hope you enjoyed it. Take care.